Hi everyone, guess what? I am in Malta. So today, I was thinking that I will take you around this beautiful capital of Malta, Valletta. So I hope that you will enjoy it because I have been here before on a previous business trip, but I didn't film and I think that you will really enjoy it because it's such a beautiful city and it would be a shame not to show it to you. So let's go. of St. Julian and the city is super busy. It's actually known for parties, parties and more parties, which is not really a family friendly place to stay. I would not recommend it for families. If you would come to Malta, I would recommend definitely staying somewhere else. But Valletta, Valletta, different story. short ride from San Julian to Valletta. It was about 10 minute ride and I am here. I'm just entering the city gate, which is the main gate that gets you to Valletta. It's beautiful. If this doesn't already scream Europe, I don't know what does it. So as I said before, the city gate is the main entrance to this capital city of Valletta. And Valletta is one of the smallest capitals in the world and it's also one of the youngest ones because it was founded uh, about 450 years ago. The city gate actually gets you right on the main street which is a street like any other main European streets. You have lots of bars, lots of restaurants, lots of stores and it's quite busy. I have to tell you I was here last time in November and it was much emptier. However, the weather in November, believe it or not, was much warmer. Well, not much, but it was like a four Celsius more. So I was a little surprised how chilly actually it is here at the end of May. But before I will take you on the main street and show you around, I just want to show you, I would like to take you first uh, and show you the upper Baraka garden, which is right behind the corner. I will take you there and it's absolutely beautiful. Last time when I went there, I just couldn't believe how gorgeous that place was. It almost looked like the gardens of Eden. So let's go. So the Upper Baraka Garden is a perfect viewpoint of the Grand Harbor and apparently they are shooting cannons there every day around noon and 4 p.m. and I think I just actually missed it because it's 12 minutes after noon. I haven't heard any fires yet but I'm pretty sure I missed it if they say it's around the noon so that's a shame. See what I'm talking about? It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Like, I mean, I could stay here all day. It's such a quiet place. It's really quiet here. Let me show you, let me show you the harbor views because they're so beautiful. Some serious Cypriot over there. But yes, this is the place. You can see the cannons are here. Um, as I said, they are shooting twice a day. Unfortunately, I think, I do believe I missed it, so I will have to come other day. So even though Malta is such a small country, there's so much to see here. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable traveling by yourself, you can hire hop on hop off uh, buses uh, or you can uh, there are tons of people who are offering tours over Malta but I have to tell you it's pretty safe here you can just hire you can just uh, download application Bolt and it's pretty cheap travel by car here with drivers uh, around or you can actually take a bus they are pretty convenient and you can explore this whole island by bus which is another tip for you for example from San Julian to Valletta, it was only about 11 euros. So it's not so bad, it's, it's very affordable if you don't feel comfortable taking buses, but 
as I said, that there's so much to see. So right now I'm at the Merchant Street and this street is very interesting, has a really cool architecture, very quirky style. You can find tons of stores again. What's really special about this street, it's very unique and you can see that the architecture, those beautiful balconies, uh, they are just typical for Malta. amount of people uh, when I came here in November the city was very empty it was very pleasant so if you don't like crowds don't come here in the main season because it's not as bad as you would think yet but I'm sure because we are right now in the late of May I'm sure in one month this place is gonna be slammed and oh my goodness these balconies are really getting me every time I come here they decorate, they paint it different colors and it's so special look. So this little street is actually my favorite street in Valletta. It's so cute, so beautiful and it's so special it gets you basically down to the lower baraka gardens if i'm not mistaken and i will take you there because it seems to be much quieter than up there Yes, I will take you along the city wall. Uh, basically, it, sound, it surrounds the whole capital. And as I said, it's much quieter here. It's beautiful. So yes, right behind me, there's a ferry. As I said, they are doing daily tours uh, by ferries, by buses. Uh, you can really find so many. Uh, and this one is going to take you to Gozo, which is an archipelago of Malta. And it offers a beautiful, beautiful coastline. But I'm not going to do this on, a, on this trip in Malta because I really want to experience this with my family. Definitely part of this experience, traveling solo, told me one thing. It's really amazing how you can reconnect to yourself. And I always, on these business trips, I just take one day off. And I'm just trying to spend this day on my own with myself and it's really really healthy but for me as I mentioned before I'm definitely not a solo traveler I just love sharing this experience with somebody it's like for example my next trip I'm going to a very very special place that none of us has ever been before and I will take you guys definitely around it's one of the most beautiful countries probably in the world and I will give you a hint it actually uh, has one of the seven wonders in the world and of course i would love to go and see the wonder but you know what i'm not gonna do that because i want to experience it with my family i want to experience my i want to experience it with my kids or with my husband let's continue i will now take you to the lower baraka gardens and we will just continue the walk around the city wall because it's so beautiful and later on i will take you on a beautiful ferry ride because that's really special and you can see the coastline and the skyline of valletta from there we were standing over there that's where the upper baraka gardens are and i walk all the way all the way down here so right now we are in the lower baraka gardens and it's as equal as beautiful as the first one so it's a really beautiful walk and between those two definitely recommend it for you to come here One of the things that I love about Malta is the food. Let me tell you, the food is amazing. You are geographically located very close to Italy, so the, so the influence of the food is really strong. And it's, it's not really truly Italian, but you know, it's a mix. 
it's a mix of all the countries around but I would say closest to Italy and you can get really great pastas here like really great seafood so that's definitely one thing I love coming back to because I just love to eat and I love to eat good food before we go I just want to uh, say something about uh, this channel I really don't want to continue this channel uh, being that about me in any way because it's not we started this channel as family on the run and it's a family channel but it's also a travel channel so as you know I travel now mostly by myself and Jason and I uh, actually thought it would be it would be a great idea if we continue this channel just showing you around different places because I go to really cool places and uh, I would like to share that with you and I would love to uh, get the channel going. Uh, we are planning on shooting some uh, family content as well so stay tuned if you are here for that if you are here uh, with us from the beginning and definitely give us a shout out down in the comments if you are here since our early family on the run days. One thing I have to say that's annoying about this city, uh, not about the city actually, it's about the multi multiple cities I've just been to, uh, is that there is a constant construction going on and this constant noise is very <laughs> annoying to be honest. So I'm still continuing uh, my walk around the wall of the city. It's a really nice and enjoyable walk, except the construction. <laughs> And uh, right now I'm actually going to start going into the city again uh, towards the main street and find some spot for lunch. I have a first look of this cathedral which is basically the symbol of uh, Valletta. It's basically what you know when, when you see uh, travel documentaries or any uh, posters or any uh, advertisement promotion about Malta. It, this cathedral is always there and I'm just having the first glimpse of it and it's as beautiful as I remember from the last time. So the cathedral is right here behind me. And if you see the city that's across uh, Valletta, this is the beginning of Sliema, which is another uh, big city in Malta. Well, big. there are no big cities in Malta, but you know, one of the biggest, one of the bigger ones. So yes, uh, and my goal for today, hopefully later, I can hop on ferry and take you from Valletta to Sliema because that ferry is really beautiful and it, uh, it probably offers very much needed breeze. So we will do this later. Basilica or cathedral, I don't know actually, Basilica Cathedral. So I'm pretty sad because I was planning on going to this beautiful little church and unfortunately it's closed. And I don't know why, because today is Tuesday, really strange, but that was one of the things I was really looking forward to and it was supposed to be a little surprise for you guys, but unfortunately it was one of the cutest churches I've ever seen, but it's closed, what can we do? So I am right now in front of the uh, Basilica of Our Lady of Mount Carmel and guess what? It's closed again so I don't know if today is a day, maybe some holiday, I don't know. I don't know what's going on but right here, right here, that's it, that's it, that's the Basilica uh, and it's absolutely beautiful. I was, I was saying before cathedral, it's not cathedral, it's basilica so I have to correct myself but yeah, I'm standing right below it and Unfortunately, can't get in. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. I know why they are closed because they are not open in the afternoon. They are taking a little break. Uh, the churches here in Malta, and they are closed from noon till 5 p.m., which is such a shame because at 5 p.m. I cannot be here anymore. So I will have to miss it, and that's such a big deal. I would love to go inside and shoot there and show it to you guys but all you can see is basically the top right here
So here we are at St. George's Square and we are literally in the heart of the city right now. This is where it's at, this is where everyone's at and this is the busiest part. You can see this square, this plaza is so filled with people. Originally I was thinking actually having lunch over there but because it's a great, it's a great uh, um, people watching point but it's really really busy today. I'm trying to look for something less less busy than that and we are back on the main street this is basically where we arrived in the beginning so you basically walk the whole city of Valletta with me Uh, so I found this little cute place, it's called Rampilla. I'm really excited because um, it has really good reviews and it's by the city gate so it's really easy to find and I'm excited because they're one of my favorite meals. So the food was absolutely excellent. I had crab and lobster ravioli. It was amazing, but I just didn't feel like filming because it was such an intimate setting and it was a really quiet place and I really wasn't feeling like speaking on camera in, 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 the, in front of everybody. So unfortunately, you will not have no footage of, my, of me uh, talking and eating, but I can just uh, tell you it was a great place with a beautiful views and I would highly recommend it. And now I'm just gonna go catch the ferry to Sliema. It's leaving every 30 minutes. So right now the boat is already waiting there. Uh, I'm, uh, I hope I can actually make it. Uh, it's gonna take me to Sliema, which is right across the sea. And I can already see a line of people waiting there. So let's go. There's a huge line of people, but from, from what I remember, I was paying Euro 50 cents. So this is arguably one of my favorite things to do in Malta. It's so beautiful here. I definitely need the breeze because it's getting a little too hot here. And I was right, it was Euro 15 per person. So each way, one Euro 15. So guys, definitely worth it. And I said, yeah, in Valletta, definitely take the ferry to Slema or from Slema to Valletta.